Hi ninjas, how are you guys doing? It's your girl. Oh, I'm in H Bajoru aka Miss Fearful Call Bring Back for all entertainment. If it's the first time joining me, I'm most really welcome. Please do make sure that I subscribe and obviously hit the bell. I absolutely love you. And do not forget, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. It's at boldly or wami. Now, my ninjas, before we get into this video, let's go ahead and check this shout out. Ninja Hello, ninjas and queen ninja, of course. My name is Vatamira Comfort Liboy and this is the Dami Tribe. In this channel, we do lifestyle vlogs, entertainment, shorts, the list is endless, but just come through and see the wonderful work that we are doing here. Please do like, comment, and definitely subscribe and watch, okay? Okay? Thank you so much, Queen Ninja, for this opportunity. See you at the Dami Tribe. Over to you, Queen Ninja! Watch. Ninjas, I do this channel so that we can help each other grow. So please do make sure that you go to the Ninjas channel. Make sure that you do subscribe. And also please make sure that you watch the videos. Comment to say Queen Ninja sent you guys. Let's help each other grow. I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I will leave the link to the channel um, in the description box down below. Now, my ninjas, honestly, today I just... Woke up this morning and my DMs are flooded and ninjas are saying, oh, we need you to talk about this situation that's going on with Sims and yo guys, Zini, I won't lie, it is a lot, okay? It honestly is a lot and I think that it's also just a lot because I was also up. I went to bed around 3 a.m. and literally we were communicating with Sims. Now, I'm not gonna like give too much details i'm gonna just um obviously i have to respect her privacy but i'll tell you guys what happened so last night i went to the club coming back from the club guys i was like okay you know i get a message and the message is talking about a husband and boyfriend sending pictures and honestly i didn't understand because remember guys uh last year i did go to the celebration of their union um and so i didn't know that sims had separated from her husband right so i am even sending laughing emojis and i'm like girl like what are you saying you know because i'm thinking oh maybe it's a wrong message or um you know maybe i don't know maybe pff, we are losing to do you get so okay when i now start to understand what she's saying she's basically telling me that hey um my husband or my soon-to-be ex is gonna send you pictures he he's threatening and stuff and i'm like what he's, she says that he sent those pictures to her stories right and so but then she had to delete right and i was like okay so obviously at that point um i think it was around 2 or 2 a.m i'm like okay you know what i go to sims instagram and on her feed guys not even in the stories this time on her feed there's like folders and folders and folders of pictures and videos of sims and the her boyfriend and it, the caption was my wife is cheating on me right so obviously that is sims soon to be ex-husband that posted those and not sims so they were up maybe for a few minutes and i'm like did sims actually realize that this happened i sent sims a message babe can you go to your instagram and check because he posted there i, I actually said did you see that he posted on your page and she's like what page i'm like instagram she goes there and that then obviously she has to now remove after that guys like i'm like girl like at this point okay like i'm starting to just be like wait a minute this is just wild why is this man like literally trying to do this you know however guys same time pass one if not to two or past two i get a message a whatsapp message from madam speaker madam speaker is like oh i'm please check up on sims i'm like at this point obviously i'm chatting calling also like what we're communicating with sims um and i'm like yeah i'm communicating with her um because i was like oh crap it means even madam speaker saw the feed post which means a lot of people have to have seen if even madam speaker is sending me this message at this time madam speaker sends me a a, a screenshot i'm gonna see if i can obviously the face is there so let me not but she sends me a screenshot and the screenshot literally has the folders of the pictures and videos and there are also the message that was sent is hey my wife i think he said my wife sims is cheating on me something like that let me just be sure guys because obviously my phone is right here let me just what did it say yes it said my wife seems right is cheating with this nigger now at this point i start to realize this man is literally just sending random people 
it means that he went to her DMs and got maybe people that she has interacted with before or something and then he's choosing to send those things to them. Now Sims has already made the video you guys and she has told us that he even sent to like WhatsApp family groups and everything. So anyway, let me go ahead and tell you like uh, what happened. So after that, obviously I had to send Sims to say, girl, just change your password fast because at this point he's just sending random people. He's gonna send, you know, the wrong person and everything. So let's just go ahead and you have to have the story out, right? Because he, she also told me, no, we've been separated. Okay. It's not like I'm cheating on him. We've been separated. I've moved on and that is not a crime. You understand? It's not a crime. So... Obviously after that she then changed the password so he got kicked out he did not have access um, to that anymore and he could not send those via her Instagram um, link I mean account and then obviously at that point guys um, I called her because I just wanted to make sure that obviously she's fine like what's going on are you okay you know obviously just as a sister basically or as a co-worker as a colleague i really love sims like i don't have anything against her the same way i don't have anything against anybody you understand what i'm saying so when i'm talking to sims guys what i heard around three i mean around like i think it was past two to three at this point my goodness i won't lie it really got me scared Sims is on the other side of the of the room. There's a door between them. He's on the other side. He was so loud. His soon to be ex-husband was so loud, guys, that I could literally hear him over the phone while Sims was in the other room. That's all I'm going to say. It got me so spooked. I was like panicking. First of all, I don't know where both Sims stay. Honestly, if I had an address, I would have sent the cops there. Like, from what I had over the phone. And again, due to the fact that now she had told Muri, this man has been putting his hands on me. I Like, there was a huge part of me that felt this is going to be another situation where he's going to put his hands on her. And then this time, maybe it might even be worse. You understand? I was literally so spooked, guys. And I'm so thankful that, um, you know, after a few minutes, um, not really few, few, but yeah, after minutes... Like, you know, Sims called me and this time she was in a car. I could hear that she was in the car and she was saying that, you know what, she's okay. Um, and she basically said that she wanted me to basically break the story. And so she sent me like, you know, a voice, voice note explaining everything. And she said that you can go ahead and make a video, but she's also going to do a video in the morning. So if I really wanted to, I could have uh, filmed and then, you know, I could have uploaded the videos and 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 make sure that i got the exclusive you understand but honestly for me i just felt that this is her story and i i wanted her to get that chance to be the first one that actually tells you guys and so um I will leave the link of her video in the description box down below because it's already up where she explains um, basically what um, you know what has been going on now for me I will not lie guys like the part that hurts me the most is the fact that like Sims has been uh, you know physically abused um, for years even I think this is one of the reasons why guys it's so important to just be human you know you, you, you I be human Jay have like that human aspect that human side in you like be a human being you never know what people are going through you never know what people are going through um i the the time that you know there was the whole situation that was going on and sims was super super upset um i remember when i did the video i also did the video because when i saw that and i saw her that upset i called her you know she literally didn't even pick my call she just immediately sent me a message said, i'm really not okay like i'm not even in a space where i can actually even talk and that's why i was like no like literally like this is uh, affecting her a lot more um being in the entertainment industry guys like especially on youtube it's not easy you know it's not easy now i feel like yes i'm an og i've been here for the longest time and i've found like coping mechanisms you know and stuff like that but um sims is actually one of the people that whenever there'd be a scandal that is going on and not to me i'm like ah you know this is fine she would literally check up on me like hey are you okay you know and i really appreciated that which is why lena like when i saw that she was not okay i had to make sure that i you know obviously contact her to say hey girl are you okay and obviously at that time i could see that she was not okay and that's why i even made the video to say guys like honestly at this point 
let's be kind to each other and i didn't know that she was going through a separation you know i did not know that she was going through a divorce um a lot of people actually do not understand when you see a woman out she has already dealt with the worst part of it the worst part is the decision the decides the, the the deciding do i live do i stay the moment you've made a decision to say i'm going to leave and you're there you are now just at a point where you're like okay fine i have to hold this it's still not easy but for me i would say that maybe we're different but the process of having to decide whether if i'm going to stay or whether if i'm going to leave that was the most difficult part for me you know um and so at this point i am really really honestly super proud of sims right for the fact that she was able to say you know what i'm going to choose myself no matter how long this has been happening to me i'm not going to let it break me and i'm gonna go ahead and make sure that i obviously walk away i'm super proud of you the other part again that i have to talk about is that she obviously i saw the post that went on right so i already had an idea of like her boyfriend <laughs> and now she sent me videos and i'm gonna do a video on that you guys and just show you guys sims boyfriend like okay <laughs> girl <laughs> you know and so i am really honestly happy for her i don't believe that as women we need to heal if you don't feel like you need to you know because remember guys you were not in a car accident your bones are not broken okay you 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 is okay you is okay so for me as well like i'm not even going to lie i am happy for her that or at least like you know she moved and then she was able to even move on and she found someone that seems like they're very happy and you guys will see with the videos that i'm gonna post like the next videos but i do have to say that guys i'm really really honestly happy for her um any man that lays his hands on you he is a coward you need to know that why is manje the rock wanting to fight beyonce for what for what you understand like being a man and being at a point where you can put your hands on a woman you are a disgusting human being you are a disgusting human being and i don't even want to hear your side of the story i don't care about your side of the story for you to can put your hands on a woman to be a coward because no if you want to fight go and fight men why can't you go out then fight men? and this is the part that i always say guys okay now obviously uh, all this is alleged i'm gonna say it's alleged but i believe sims a thousand percent um now what i'm gonna say is this guys who could see people that act like oh he just has a temper he just can't control it they're lying and i will prove to you right now they're lying men that beat their wives at home men that beat women they're not beating their bosses at work and you find that the boss at work is even a woman when she says do this and agafuni and she shouts at him and talks to him like a child no matter how angry he is he's gonna keep it to himself and he's gonna go he's not gonna go out there and be punching his bosses he's not he's not out there just punching people he's not so how come he's able to control his anger with other people except for you and when it comes to you it's a matter of oh you know he's just he can't control his anger and then you will hear this is why i hate those nonsense baraki family meeting <laughs> sorry i hate it Shem, because it's just a bunch of old people with their toxic traits that come in and try impose their things on you they will tell you oh no when i just make sure that you don't upset him when you don't know what is upsetting him today he's upset because of the phone was sitting here tomorrow he's upset because this spray was there day after tomorrow he's upset or this cup is empty day after tomorrow he's upset of this every single time he's upset about any little things is beating you so if there's anything i will say is that i'm very proud of you sims and i'm very happy for you i'll be happy i'll be happy be happy i am not an advocate for divorce and i'm also not an advocate for horrible marriages however i do believe that the choice is yours i am an advocate for happiness okay i believe that you should be happy as an individual because remember guys you live only once only once you live the moment you leave this earth you are done and i think that's why i am so protective over myself now walk away the moment you don't serve me happiness i'm walking away from you because i'm not about to suffer with anybody i'm telling you the truth i didn't come to earth to suffer i didn't and i'm happy that sims is finally at that stage where she's saying i'm gonna choose myself you know the other aspect that is so messed up when it comes to this is the part where 
Usims has said that, you know what, with her previous relationship, her last baby daddy, uh, before she got this man who was her husband, because now they're in separation, so her soon-to-be ex-husband, um, is that she expressed that he used to be physically abusive towards her. Now, why would this man go ahead and do the same thing that broke her first now? It's because he knew that for me to break her, this is what I have to do. Weak men will use the pain you have told them against you. And they know exactly where to hit because I get we are vulnerable, we are open. I can't be with you and not be open with you. So if you choose that you're going to take advantage of the information that I give you, you know, towards me, for you to have access towards me, I'm going to just leave you. Like, that's it. Your biggest punishment is losing me. That's it. You understand? And so that's the aspect sometimes that I want you guys to actually see. If you're married to a weak man, especially I'm talking about like in marriage dynamics, if you're married to a weak man, he will try. Now my ex knew that cheating is something that broke me in the past with my previous relationships and was the reason I walked away. For him to lie, I need to remember he even said, Nia liar, being liar. How did he lie? He's lying. Make a liar by cheating. Because he knew that that would break me. And did it break me? Almost did. <laughs> Nigga failed. <laughs> you understand? And so I think it's also the same situation where I'm saying that he knew, her husband knew, his soon-to-be ex-husband knew that, you know, physical abuse is something that obviously was a huge part for her. And I'm sure she was more vulnerable with him than she would be with us. And he took that and used it against her. So this is what was breaking you. This is what I'm going to do to you. To break you even further and the fact that she's saying well, when she hit 50,000 subscribers that was when even her fingers uh, you know she had to get on a bandage because even her fingers were out when they were busy uh, beating her guys I am actually going to do a story time of the day that I hit 100,000 subscribers on what actually really happened you will be shocked you will be shocked Weak men also, they hate your success. They hate it. They hate it. I'm happy with like, who, who seems literally walked away. It was going to get worse and worse. The more and more she actually like achieves, it, it was going to get worse. That's something that I can say. So I'm really happy that she decided that she's going to walk away. Um, I know that, you know, there are women that obviously some will choose to go back. Um, I do hope that she doesn't, you know, honestly. I feel that when someone is physically abusive, it it just complicates things because they can kill you they can kill you physical abuse guys is worse because they can kill one not as strong as our grandmothers now so it's really bad you understand so that's why i was just saying that guys um this is basically what happened hey when i woke up and i saw you guys were saying hey girl did you see what's going on i'm like god we've been up with this whole situation like i was just so shocked this early morning like honestly people can be spiteful what seems was quiet about this whole situation what you know yeah shy was she was quiet what she was being abused she was quiet what there was even a separation she was quiet She's like let's be peaceful especially for the kids sake let's be peaceful hi bro what did he do was he peaceful no and what does he do he lies and with the lies what do they do they bound you they bind you i'm telling you it has to be you that has to come out now and basically tell the truth and then when you talk there's still women that will come out and say oh she's just beat Johnny. But anyway, yeah, with this whole situation, guys, I'm really just shocked. My heart just pains for her more of the fact that um, she was, um, you know, being abused. Seems to someone that is always so bubbly, you wouldn't even expect. And I think that's the important part to say that, guys, people are going through a lot that we do not know about. So if you can be kind to somebody, I don't think that it can cost you a lot. You know, I don't think that it can cost you um, a lot. So basically that is that, guys. Her video is up where she explains and she goes into details. So yeah, you can go ahead and uh, check it out from me. Oh, I mean, I love you guys. Uh, the next video that I'm about to record, wow. It's really like, wow. But anyway, go ahead and comment down below. I love you, Ninja. Stay blessed. And I'll see you guys in my next upload. Bye, Ninjas.